Hi, this is David with entry number oh, 918 here in <clears throat> in my apartment in the morning. Last night I had every intention to record uh, an entry on the move, but for some reason I was unable to remember to record. Uh, you know, some days are like that, some days are like that. This is my coffee, my morning coffee. It's currently, I think, about 7, 7 o'clock. Um, I got this mug in Korea, and it is like the tasting uh, graph for this particular company. Uh, the graph is pretty much the same as as wine for coffee, but, um, but it's uh, a little bit more slanted towards like desserts, maybe fruity things. Anyway, yesterday and the day before I had a really pretty good day. Um, on Friday I actually went and um, I went uh, at night, celebrated one of the other teachers' birthdays at a local restaurant. Uh, granted it was western food so it wasn't amazing but um, it was uh, pretty good for what it was. You know, it's really interesting um, in ESL I would say it definitely attracts a certain kind of person, a certain kind of individual that maybe wouldn't do so well in their home country. And that might include myself, I'm not saying I'm above it, but it definitely is a unique kind of person who is attracted to this work, to living outside their home country for long periods of time without seeing friends and family and loved ones. It's definitely um, a different kind of cat, I should say. And uh, getting to know these kind of these new people, it's just been really interesting. And um, I guess that's how it is at any new workplace, per se. But at this place, especially, you get kind of a certain amount of characters, and you accrue them. And especially ones who have been doing this work for like more than three or four years, where it's not just kind of like a passing thing to get money, but uh, someone who wants to do this for a while. You um, really get to meet some interesting people, very interesting people. And um, when I did on Tuesday uh, my work at the high school, I got to meet a lot of the uh, local um, uh, teachers from the Japan Japanese government program called JET. And they were some pretty funky dudes. Um, very, all of them, or maybe not all of them, but a good majority of them had fairly poor interpersonal uh, abilities, but when they worked with the kids, they all lit up and were able to do like really good work with all their all the students, and I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised, by how well they could work with other, other kids, or with the kids. But with uh, talking to me or talking to each other, it was a little weird, to be honest, kind of like um, theater kids in high school, you know, very boisterous, but you could tell that it was a facade. You could tell that it was a, a kind of character they were playing and that their true selves were somewhere hidden underneath the surface. So it was pretty interesting. And um, I'm not gonna say, you know, the, the people I work with at this job are like that because they're not. Um, but it's kind of a whole nother kind of, kind of person. It's not a negative, not a negative or pejorative comment on their character, it's just, Kind of, it's interesting to see the kind of personalities that are drawn to this work. And I myself am a weird, weird person, I would say, you know. I'm someone who doesn't like to drink alcohol, and that is weird, especially for, for English teachers in foreign countries, because a lot of them thrive on liquid diet. So, yeah. But anyway, that's about it for today. I'll record another one to later today, out and about. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you later. Bye.